Hello, I am Heather Adriano, and today I will be demonstrating the submaximal cardiorespiratory fitness test. That would be a mile, one mile jogging and rockport walking assessment. The equipment I used to complete this test was a 400 meter track, proper exercise attire, a scale, a stopwatch, pen and paper, and a heart rate monitor that was optional while completing the test. I began the assessment by completing a warm-up with a few stretches before the run. The jogging assessment is used for men and women who are 18 to 29 years of age. For men, completing the mile would be at a minimum time of 8 minutes, and for women, a minimum time of 9 minutes to complete the mile jog. While jogging, I made sure that my heart rate did not exceed 180 beats per minute. After completing my one mile jogging assessment, I took my post exercise heart rate at the corotoid site. I placed my index finger and middle finger on the corotoid artery, feeling the palpations for 15 seconds, and then multiplying that number by four. You can also take your heart rate at the radial site as well. One important thing to remember while taking the submaximal cardiorespiratory fitness assessment is that it's not a maximal test. You need to keep a steady pace while running without stopping and keep that heartbeat under 180 beats per minute. Moving on to the walking assessment, you can also complete a warm up before beginning the assessment. The walking assessment is used for men and women ages 20 to 69. It is also used for a sedentary population and the geriatric population. The goal of this assessment is to walk the mile as quickly as possible, but without running. After completing the mile walk, I then took my heart rate at the corotoid site, just as I did with the jogging assessment. Shown below is the formula I used to calculate my VO2 max in the jogging assessment. Notice that the body weight needs to be in kilograms and that time needs to be in minutes. I provided an example of how the time needs to be converted into a decimal needed in the formula. For the walking assessment, notice that the weight needs to be in pounds, and these are my calculations.